John is coming through. Hi, everybody, welcome to Driving with John. So, today I'm going to make the video that I talked about a couple videos ago. Um, basically, the five things that led me to failing as an owner operator. Now, I'm not calling myself a failure because there is a difference. Failing means that you did something wrong that caused me to fail. But a failure is someone who quits and doesn't get up and you know, wipe the dirt off their pants and get up and try harder next time and learn from your mistakes. The important part about learning from your mistakes is you have to know what your mistakes are. So today, I'm going to discuss with you the top five mistakes I made as an owner-operator that got me to the point where I failed. Um, so, we'll start at the bottom, and that would be number five. Number five is not listening to wiser, experienced people that have been in the industry for a lot of years. I got a lot of advice from people that know a lot more than I do about the trucking industry. And I didn't quite listen to exactly what they said. I thought I did, but I didn't follow what they said. So apparently I wasn't listening too well. So that was probably the, the, the fifth reason. The fourth reason would be learning how to budget my maintenance and line items for my truck, um, variable cost and normal cost, things like that. I had a ballpark figure for everything, but I didn't have it pinpointed and I wasn't running a strict budget. I think that's part of the reason. Uh, the number three reason is now, this is kind of stupid to say, and I hate admitting this, but I kind of had a paycheck mentality. What does that mean? You know, um, you go to work, you get a paycheck, you go home, you spend it until it's gone, you go to work, you get a paycheck, you spend it, you go home, you spend it until it's gone, you don't really save money, you don't really budget anything, you don't really, like, I guess that could be combined with the other one, but... It, to me, it's something different. It's a mentality. It's not an actual budget. Um, it's how you think about the things around you. Um, I would say number two. Um, the the um, second biggest reason why I failed would be that I didn't recognize that there was a problem with my truck. Um, you need to know your truck. And I apparently was driving it with an issue a lot longer than I thought I was. And that's what caused the DPF to clog and then probably blew out my turbo because I didn't recognize that there was an issue. So um, I don't know for sure that's what it was, but I did know that I was losing power over a good month or two before, but it, no fault lights were coming on. There was no issues other than it just seemed like I didn't have as much power as I used to have. So. I should have recognized that when I got it checked out, but I didn't. Um, the number one, the number one reason I failed as an owner operator this time, and probably the biggest reason, and it ties back into two or three of the other ones, and that would be when times were really, really good. I didn't save enough money. I didn't take advantage of the good times. Now. You know, outside of trucking, there were some reasons why I couldn't run as much as I wanted to. Um, you know, but that's a fact of life. I mean, you know, facts and statistics don't care about your feelings, right? So, you know, I didn't run enough. That's the truth. And I didn't save enough. That's also the truth. I mean, I could have saved even off what I did run, and I didn't. So that is my fault. That's my number one reason. If I'd have saved when times were good, then when I would have had issues with my truck, yeah, it would have been hard, it would have been tough, but I would have had the money to be able to 
take care of the issues. So those were my five reasons why I think I failed as an owner operator. Um, just go over them really quick. I wasn't listening to advice I got. I didn't understand the line item cost budget for everything pinpoint. I was just ballparking everything. Um, I had a paycheck mentality. Um, you know, I didn't recognize a problem when a problem happened. And the biggest reason, again, was I just didn't, you know, take advantage of the good times. Whether it's, you know, it's not really an excuse, it's just the truth. So, so those are the five reasons why I feel I was an owner-operator. You know, in life, you're going you're gonna to stumble, you're going to fall, you're going to make stupid decisions. How you react to those decisions mean much, much more than, you know, letting that stuff get to you and, and not learning from your mistakes. So if you can react in a way where that's a learning opportunity and you can make yourself better, do it. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to be a good example for my kids and for, you know, the YouTube community that watches me so that you can see that you can fall down. You can pretty much almost lose your truck, lose your entire business and still build it back up and make it bigger, better, and faster. So, there you go. You guys have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't done it already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share my videos, and I'll see you on the next video.